In 97, the Rage Against the Machine Wu-Tang Clan tour rolled out. Whoa, have you seen this Wu-Tang documentary on Showtime? I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it. So you talk about this tour. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't remember who it is. I think it's Raekwon, <laughs> but I could be wrong. But they talk about how and why they left the tour. Yeah. And how there was some expression of regret in the documentary. Mm-hmm. Like, we didn't have our shit together. We, you know, we didn't understand the impact of Wu-Tang and Rage. Yeah. And we left that tour. And had we stayed on that tour... Things might have been different. Do you feel the same? Yeah. Well, I mean, I, we were just—I felt blessed and honored to have to be on tour with Wu Tang, like Wu Tang Clan, Rage Against the Machine, 1997. Like it was the craziest, like idea. Yeah. But I think that their their experience—they hadn't really toured before. Mm-hmm. They'd played shows and they had done mm-hmm. like award shows, but like touring is a grind, mm-hmm. you know. And you've got to be in Jacksonville, Florida, and then the next night you got to be in Miami, and you got to. And people kept wanting to, you know, go home. They had other responsibilities. Mm-hmm. I think don't think it's they nine really, guys. Yeah, it's nine trying guys. Trying to do nine different they things. They never. I don't think they went through that phase of like, hey, we're a band in a van, you yeah. know, <laughs> like, yeah. like for yeah. 10 years. Like they didn't do that. They were just like, we're Wu-Tang Clan. And, um, you know, and so I got to tell you, I, I had a great time. And, and Riza, like Riza and I remain close to this day. I, right. I love him. And, uh, and I think that he really got it back then. But I, it was, if they were on half the tour, I'll take that. It was no, fantastic. Right. But I do have to tell you, there's a, a, a dirt, great dirty story. So so OD, ODB, or I'm not sure what name, it might've been- Big Baby Jesus. Or Dwight D. Eisenhower, right. remember that face? Oh, Osiris. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. not sure what. <laughs> so he was- <laughs> I think we played, we had 34 shows booked with Wu Tang Clan. They played 17 of them. I don't think they ever crossed the Mississippi. I don't okay. think they crossed Mississippi. They played 17 of them. Dirty was at two. Okay. Oh, damn. <laughs> and one was the New York show, and one was the Atlanta show. So um, I'm getting ready. You know, Wu Tang played first, and I'm getting ready for the show, and I'm kind of wandering around the tour buses in the parking lot. Uh-huh. And Wu Tang Clan is on stage, uh-huh. destroying the crowd. And who do I see wandering around the parking lot? But old dirty bastard, <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, I don't think he ever learned my name. Quite right, right, right. <laughs> Bless his heart. But I'm like, hey, how's it going? He's like, bro. Like, I'm like, yeah. And he's, he's like, what's your name? I'm like, I'm Tom. Hi. Nice to meet you. He's like, where's the stage? And I'm like, I, I can't. It's hard to describe. Like, this is a, it's a, it's a shed. So there's this, there's one thing. There's right. a parking lot and the a stage. stage. <laughs> There's one thing, and it's big, and there's Wu-Tang Clan music coming from it. <laughs> right? There's Wu-Tang Clan music coming from it. And I'm like, it's right, like right there. Right, He's right. like, thanks, bro. And he continues walking the other direction. Whoa. Just the end of the night. And didn't do the show. I don't know. It's, I'm, not, I'm not his keeper. I'm that's not his That's a great keeper. old dirty bastard. <laughs> that's, one of the great, that's one of the great ones. You've had a blessed life, bro. You've had a blessed life.